Soil organic matter, does it matter? Uh, this is something that researchers have uh, looked at for uh, more than just a few decades. Uh, we know that soil organic matter uh, has vital functions in terms of delivering nutrients, in terms of controlling uh, soil moisture uh, provision for the crops. We also know that soil organic matter in terms of the health uh, of, uh, of the soil and of the crops. But how much does it actually matter in terms of crop yield, uh, of what uh, we need to do in terms of soil cultivation and so on? Uh, this is something we still need to quantify. And it also varies across uh, Europe. Uh, we know that in southern Europe we have much less soil organic matter because of the warmer uh, conditions, whereas in northern Europe the soil uh, organic matter is often much higher. Uh, but we also know that management influences this. Um, but we don't know too much about whether it's the long-term or the short-term management that is affecting those functions that the soil organic matter deliver um, for uh, the functioning of the crops and of the soil uh, as such. So we're doing some experiments. Uh, this is an experiment uh, that we're conducting at the ASCOV uh, uh, agricultural station in Denmark. We're doing similar experiments also in Italy. So what we have here is a long-term experiment. Since um, 1980, across this field, we've had various inputs uh, of uh, straw that has given us different levels of soil organic matter here. Um, so we have a basic difference in terms of the uh, soil organic matter. On top of that, we are putting uh, a situation where we, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the plots where we've had no uh, application of straw, then we're putting a bit of straw into it, and where we have previously put straw, we stopped doing it. So that we are getting into a situation where we can see the difference between the long-term and the short-term effects of adding soil, uh, adding organic matter to the soil. And then we are looking at, as you can see uh, in those uh, small uh, pots here, um, what does it matter then if we vary the nitrogen rates? Because we want to see how much do the, do the soil organic matter and the soil microorganism supply uh, the crop with nutrients, in this case nitrogen, uh, with the different treatments, whether it being the long-term or the short-term contributions. So we need some basic understanding of this and this is important of course also for farmers in terms of knowing what to do both in the long term and in the short term when it comes to managing uh, the soil organic matter. In the Smart Soil project, because this is part of the EU project called Smart Soil, um, we will be synthesizing this knowledge uh, into some decision support that will be provided also via our website, uh, which is called smartsoil.eu. So if you are interested, you can have a closer look at the information that is obtained there.